Can you let users try your online course for free but have their access expire after a week or a month or 24 hours? Yes, you can. It's actually super easy to do so. In fact, the method that I'm going to show you even allows you to protect your WordPress blog posts and pages for a custom duration. That way you can even let people read, you know, some of your content for a given amount of time at no cost and then prompt them to sign up to your membership site. All right, let's see, let's see how to do this. If you find this video useful, perhaps you're a good fit for our channel and you may want to hit the subscribe button. I'll remind you at the end of the video in case you forget. But yeah, we love talking about marketing and building online businesses here at Thrive Theme. So, you know, you're more than welcome to join us. Okay, there's only one tool that you need in order to offer a free trial of your online course, and that is Thrive Apprentice. It's the best learning management system to have it ever existed, and it's available to all WordPress users. There's a link in the description box that you can click on if you want to learn more about it. So with Thrive Apprentice installed on your WordPress website, and of course, assuming that you've already created an online course in the back end, here's what you're going to want to do. In the back end of Thrive Apprentice, can you see how I've got a published Thrive Apprentice course? It has 16 lessons inside it, and it's on mastering empanadas. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is connect this uh, Thrive Apprentice course to a product, a product that we're going to be able to sell, right? So I'm going to create a new product. I'm going to call this mastering empanadas, empanadas, and I want to add the course that I want to link to this product. You could also potentially link other types of content. Uh, you could uh, connect, uh, you know, blog posts uh, that pertain to a given category. So if you have um, a category called food as a, as a uh, category for all of your blog posts, you could potentially let people that are meant to have a, a, an active subscription in order to access, the, access these blog posts, um, get a free access to them as well if you wanted to. But let's just power through with the example of, hey, I just want to give people access to uh, my course on Mastering Empanadas for 24 hours or a week. All right, so we're going to add this to the product and we're going to hit done. Great, so now that we have this Thrive Apprentice product created, we can now edit the access restrictions for it. So, uh, we f so let's break this down into probably two or three different steps, right? Step one is editing the access restriction rules. In this case, we simply want to um, let people access the course for free. Uh, after giving us their email address and we're going to let them access the course for let's just say 24 24 hours 48 hours seven days it's really up to you but we really want to enable those um, access restriction rules where you know not just anyone who visits our site can access the the course right we want to have people at least opt in with their email address give the course a try for a given amount of time and then once that time has expired uh, we really push them to a sales page where they can um, actually sign up for our membership site or buy the actual uh, course. Perfect. So this product that we've just created um, is going to have an expiration date, okay? Because we're not going to charge for this product. Uh, we're going to say that when user uh, purchases product after, let's just say, two days, we're going to send them a, um, a reminder notice. Set the reminder notice maybe like one day before it expires. So perhaps let's give them a seven-day trial and five days into the trial, so two days before expiration, we're going to send them a reminder notice. And Thrive Apprentice is going to be able to do this all on, all on its own. And it's important that we enable this tab where, uh, this toggle where redirect users with expired access to an expiry page. This is important because the expiration page is going to serve as our sales page, okay? So let's create a new page. This is going to be um, expiration sales page. Let's add that page and we can customize that page with Thrive Architect. And I'm not going to spend too much time customizing the sales page for this video. Ideally, you want an actual landing page that doesn't make use of a, of a header or a footer and that its only purpose is to simply drive conversions. So uh, let's just use this one, for example. Perfect. So let's change this really quick to master the art of empanadas. And this is sign up to the course now. Great. And let's just assume that this is actually our sales page. Of course, take some time to customize the copy, swap out the images for images of your own. But that's the first step of the actual funnel, right? We have um, a product, a Thrive Apprentice product that is going to be completely free. We're only going to be asking people to opt in. So let's customize the access requirements here. Uh, we simply need users to be 
uh, subscribers. So as long as um, users are WordPress subscribers, we're going to let them access this course. Now, Tony, okay, that's fine, but how do I actually let people opt in to get the course? Well, it's as simple as just you know having a page, a sign up page. Let's go into our pages for WordPress. And let's do free opt in or you know, let's do free trial for our empanadas course. Uh, not the best title for a page, but let's just power through it for now. Let's fire this up with Thrive Architect. Let's insert a block here really quick. Let's do um, perhaps like an opt-in, do, 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 lead generation, perfect. And let's just say that you're going to change this to um, free trial, master the art of empanadas. Great, and here, as long as people um, opt in, you would just add your connection. In this case, I'm using Drip as my email marketing service of choice. Um, send people into Drip, and then make sure that you add in another connection, which in this case, it would be WordPress, and um, get them get, well, get them subscribed as uh, a subscriber. Hit apply, and with those, with those two connections enabled, you're sending people into your email marketing service, and you're also creating a WordPress account for them, which means that uh, once they opt in, WordPress is gonna send them an email saying, hey, here's your email, here's your password, you can now opt in, uh, log into your account, and they'll be able to access the Thrive Apprentice course for free for seven days. And of course, once those seven days have gone by, we are going to redirect people to our sales page where we will be pushing them to uh, pay for the actual course or subscribe to our membership site and so on. Um, kind of really simple. Pretty straightforward, right? I mean, we've really thought about how to really try to push your visitors to convert into paying customers. We didn't just give you the option to let users you know, try your course for free, but we really wanted to help you convert them into paying clients once their free access has expired. Anyways, if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's now your, your chance to hit that subscribe button that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye.